Ladies and gentlemen, masyado akong formal. I am with Mr. Rizwan Sheikh. We are Whitechuck, Whitechuck Blockchain Solutions. It's a layer one blockchain solution, which is having a layer one blockchain providing mixture of private and public blockchain for various industries. It's great to be here in public. We are already a part of this event and having a talk uh, on uh, how blockchain can be utilized well uh, with regards to cyber security posture and uh, as well as how multiple industries can actually have the proper use case of blockchain and what we feel is there is no uh, a proper bridge established to shift people from web 2 to web 3 and this is what we are actually building. How does tokenization improve security in financial transactions? Right now, the biggest problem of this uh, uh, industry is where people are considering everything into cryptocurrencies. Let me just clarify you that blockchain technology is used by cryptocurrencies, but cryptocurrency is not something that is making a blockchain, right? Of course, uh, you do require uh, uh, coin kind of environment for uh, transactions and uh, tokenization stuffs which is a major part of the blockchain however it's not always that cryptocurrency is the only thing without which uh, you cannot hold data or uh, any other thing into blockchain so tokenization is very important to maintain uh, number one it, it has inbuilt encryption number two uh, the biggest and the best part of uh, tokenization in blockchain is the data is immutable you cannot modify it you cannot erase it and at the same time it is always there so still the time your nodes are up and running the data will always be present over there so when it comes to the financial security uh, uh, especially the model that we are building in white shark has a protocol where uh, if any bank environment or any any financial institute environment is using our blockchain uh, we not only make sure that the data is kept confidential, even the internal employees who is a part of the organization cannot view the data of the customer. It will be encrypted and at the same time if someone is decrypting it in order to view some kind of access, the logs are monitored and maintained in the blockchain again separately. So this is what the value of tokenization especially in this industry is being used. Um, how do you think um, your company could help you know, our society when it comes to fraud? If you see the number of cyber crimes that are increasing across the world is very, very, very huge. And on daily basis, there have been new types of uh, crimes that are happening in order to either illegally transfer out the money from someone's account. There can be uh, issues related to... Uh, data theft where the data is being leaked out uh, uh, like uh, because of the hack so all these things definitely can be prevented if a uh, white shark blockchain is properly implemented now what it exactly does is uh, the product is called shark web now the shark web blockchain is going to have as i said encryption inbuilt it is going to record each and every log and will be stored so suppose if any uh, manager level or any any privileged level employee unlock some things or even views a statement or a data of any particular uh, account that will be logged in the blockchain it will be there for entire lifetime so this is what the protection is being provided and definitely any transactions that gonna happen will definitely will be multi verified uh, the following consensus of 51 percent apart from that uh, fraud monitoring system is well utilized into blockchain so it can prevent all major hacks that are happening having said that it is not that 100 percent all hacks will be prevented because if it's at the end it's the mistake of user definitely fraud is going to happen but awareness is something that can prevent that part as well what regulatory considerations should be taken into account when implementing tokenization in fintech all right now this is very important question especially when we talk about government regulations uh, uh, regulatory authorities and bodies should focus a lot uh, because it is completely decentralized technology now if we try to implement or add any rules regulations or law into this it will indirectly become a centralized system mm -hmm. and the aim of blockchain is to have a decentralized capability so uh, definitely uh, there is a huge gap between this uh, now if I talk about law law is territory bounded and regulators all across the world will be geographically distributed so 
इन ऑर्डर टू हैव अ सिंगल डिसेंट्रलाइज टैक फॉर अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड इट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल स्पेशली इन द करंट टाइम बिकॉज एवरी कंट्री हैज़ अ डिफरेंट लॉ फॉर दैम सेल्फ एंड नॉट एवरी वन कैन कम ऑन द सेम पेज और सेम पेज हाउ एवर द ग्लोबल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन डेफिनेटली कम अप एंड कम अप विद अ सिंगल टाइप ऑफ सोल्यूशन लाइक देर आर इंटरनेशनल साइबर लॉ गाइडलाइंस सो डेफिनेटली समथिंग शुड बी मेड फॉर द टोकनाइजेशन रेगुलेटरी अक्रॉस द फिनटेक अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड uh it's very uh, uh short of time if you want to speak about few of the pointers but uh, definitely a larger discussion is required into this but overall in generic if i want to say uh the regulatory authorities across the world should come together to build this as a single piece of law what types of data can be tokenized in fintech data what type of data can be tokenized so it's not just related to transactions or uh, something where the money is being moved from one place to another place either using cryptocurrency or by using any other uh, uh, mode of transaction blockchain can actually do various things for you uh, especially in uh, shark web blockchain the product that we are building under white shark we are having blockchain as a service to hold various types of data including support for streaming videos online so there can be platforms uh, if i just want to name some of the big reputed giant platforms that are available in the current time uh, some of the ott platforms like amazon prime netflix some of the uh, video sites like youtube one of the giant still they are not on complete web 3 the reason for this is the technology is still upgrading the world is not ready with complete web 3 for holding such a data where video can be streamed uh efficiently definitely it's it's happening but it's not up to the mark so in this uh, scenario the shark web blockchain is uh, building a revolutionary thing for even for video streaming platforms so there can be variety types of data right from ip logs monitoring uh having or storing the data of the cyber forensic logs which are huge in size having any kind of digital identity stored on the blockchain so all these are the possibility on the blockchain and almost every type of data can be stored and also uh, like securely uh, transacted over the blockchain okay we can question and answer portion last question what do you think is the future of money money will always be there uh, in the earlier uh, primitive stage it was barter system where people used to exchange goods to uh, get another goods however since the time the physical currencies are uh, Uh, launched uh, so uh, it is used for transaction however the future form of this currency is digitalization now in digitalization or the virtual currency as well crypto played a major role uh, since 2009 however again the same question repeats with regards to regulatory because we definitely want to have the blockchain as a tech coming up we do not uh, want to ignore crypto in the background however it should be monitored and regulated to prevent any kind of frauds and illegal use of it so definitely this can be one of the best thing that is available to the world as a tech and special thanks to the shudo person satoshi nakamoto that he in, invited us to have an experience of this tech which is upgrading uh, continually thank you so much thank you so much pasok na in sa isang full episode ng FOMO charot lang More more chikahan dito lang sa FOMO, the future of money.